My name is Drew Cole, um, LA artist. Out here, my band's called The Shook Souls. I grew up in Connecticut, in Ridgefield, Connecticut, and um, I graduated. I went to Yukon, which is just outside of Hartford in Connecticut. And after I studied economics over there, I just packed the car up. This was a year and a half ago. Packed the car up, drove out here, and, and just started a life. We were talking before, and you're like, oh, the first instrument you picked up was the guitar. Yes, it was. Always a guitar player, and then from there just found the voice because I I always heard melodies and, and things like that you know um, in my head and then I just they started coming out a little bit and then getting a little more confident in that and then by the end of high school I I was you know singing pretty confidently um, I call Drew Cole and the Shook Souls I call it soul infused rock pop yeah so I mean I know that kind of is a lot but we're definitely like as, as a musician and as a person I'm really groove oriented and it really needs to have that heartbeat and that rhythm to start. Like I get my little light bulb moments at the weirdest yeah. places. So I don't know if it's the same thing for musicians. Like, How is it like for you when you get your light bulb moments? Well, they're not always as convenient, right? You said oh, yeah. obscure places, oh, yeah. you know? <laughs> like for me, like I'll be, right, you, you, you'll be on a bus or, you know, in a car and I've actually had to pull over and like I'll have a I'll have like a melody in my head, I'll pull yeah. my iPhone and be like, memos, memos, and then I'll, I'll hum it out. So you got your big break, I'm gonna call it the big break, from YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, YouTube was was uh, was very kind to me. This was like oh, four years ago now, it's called Golden Loves Guitar, mm -hmm. and uh, that was the big one, I did like 13 million views, and it was a total natural response. It was like those, one of those weird things that just went viral. So very lucky to have that happen. I think I definitely capitalized on that too by um, connecting with a guy in LA and then first coming out here musically. You know, I mean, a lot of people were like, "Well, it's the dog. It's not you." I was just gonna say it's yeah. the dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, there were some pretty funny comments yeah. where people were like, "You know that no one cares about you. Oh. you do? It's the dog." But you know, it, there were enough people that cared about me to, yeah. to make it worth my time, and it was definitely a crazy experience. Why didn't you decide to do like a duet? make it like a two-person band. You and the, <laughs> you and the, and the dog. <laughs> yeah. You know, I thought about it and then the dog decided to move to Madrid. <laughs> so it was kind of a long-distance relationship that ended up fizzling out. So right now for you and Ellie, you've been here for a year and a half. Just about, yeah. Yeah? yeah? And what have you been up to? You know, a lot of it is like a networking. It's all about networking. You know, I mean, a lot of it's, oh, it's who you know and stuff. You know, I think it's, it's a combination of who you know and and who you surround yourself with that are, you know, have maybe similar goals to you or um, are just, you just get along with them, you know. One of my favorite clips from your YouTube, I just remember now, I can't remember the exact name, Wolfman? But Wolf should have Oh, the wolf, show. the wolf thing, yeah. What's it called? Well, it was called The Wolf Song. I actually wrote yeah. it, I wrote it for a, a, this company called Johnny O. And it's like a clothing company, so they yeah. came to me looking for for a uh, for a song for a commercial. So I wrote this song like pretty quickly, and then it was this, it was a commercial idea. That's how it, how it sparked, and then yeah. they did some some cool takes of uh, of me performing a little bit, and then they, they gave me some of the footage, so I turned it into something. But that was that was pretty oh, funny with with, fun with, 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 with the chest, you know. Oh yeah. How much wolf should a man oh. really show? Because no one wants to go back to his den alone. Right. That was the kind of the idea. I thought it was great. It's yeah. such a funny idea. Yeah, thanks, yeah. That was fun. Yeah. That was super fun. So, in your opinion, how much wolf should a man show? You know, I, I like to show, you know, a, a certain level of the, yeah. of just the top of the hair, because you want some mystery to remain. Right. So, I think, you know, you, know, you just show a little, <laughs> little bit. So, when you close your eyes, and you just envision, like, what you see in your future, fast forward, like, two, three years, what, what is the... Perfect scenario for you. Okay, give me some Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> pretty good things. Hopefully, uh, yeah. you know, I I really want to be. I mean, we play a lot of shows locally, but I want to do a tour. Right. You know, I, I mean, once we once we get the music out there with the Shook Souls and and just really package it and brand it really good. And once once the music's tight and, and we have a, that product to give to people, uh, definitely would love to hop on a tour with, with you know some similar acts, maybe like. Alan Stone, he's one of my favorites. Um, soul guy. Um, I mean, like Andy Grammer, Maroon Five. I mean, I feel like all those would be cool. I'd love to be on tour. Like, I wanna, I wanna go across the country. I wanna go across the world and just do what I love to do. I mean, that's the ultimate goal.
sign me up. I'll go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This was fun. Yeah. Give it out, yeah. I know I will and run away.